Good evening fellow foodies and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Yes, I am back. I am back from Scotland. I had my holiday. To be honest, I don't feel 100%. I'm still recovering. I'm still extremely tired. And yeah, what a wild, beautiful week. Um, beautiful place Scotland is. I've never been before. And now it's really, really... Um, one on the bucket list. We've seen some fantastic sights, whatnot. It was just brilliant. An absolute carnage at the same time. But yeah, brilliant stuff. Um, I'm back on YouTube. And today we've been to Iceland. We picked up something that looks... Wow, they look absolutely brilliant. I've tried something similar before. So here they are. Chicken kebab fries. Fully loaded from Iceland. Now these here look absolutely sick. Three pounds I paid for them, I believe. Or three twenty-five. You know... The last ones are the hoisin ones, and these are chicken kebab fries. Jesus. Let's get to the video. Welcome back guys, here we are, we've got the chicken kebab fries, they've been in the oven for 55 minutes, and they look really, really sad. Oh, never mind, I'll see you back at the table. Hello guys, and welcome back to the table, our chicken kebab fries are out of the oven, they've been cooking for 55 minutes like I've said. They look rather, I don't know, they just, they, they, they look like how I feel, just really tired and just like, yeah, all like, buzzed, whatever. Um, they do look a little bit disappointing, not as good as the hoisin fries I had maybe a couple of months ago. But never mind, let's get into the review and let's see what this is all about. And uh, let's give it a try. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a description first. I've got my coffee, I feel like I need that right now. Um, let's go. Fully loaded chicken kebab fries, led with seasoned chicken chili sauce, carrot and red cabbage slaw in a creamy garlic sauce and mozzarella cheese. Now that sounds actually very, very tasty indeed. Oh. Portion looks a little bit on the small side. They, they give you a massive container and it's just like filled up. Not even like halfway. Let's, uh, oh, that's that creamy garlic sauce, that's for sure. Um, yeah, so I'm not really a kebab man. I mean, I don't eat a lot of kebabs. I don't know why. They're just not really my thing. I know kebab originally originally um, came from Turkey, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But these are, I don't know, just the, the thought of the kebab and the pisses. I like doner meat, which is strange. But yeah, I'm not really a kebab kebab man. Let's have a look how many calories we got in here. Per pack is 665. That's really good. That's actually really good. Right, let's give these a go. Chips are crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. Let's give it a bit of this chicken a go. Mmm. That chicken's got a lot of flavour. I'm not a massive fan of garlic. I'm not a massive fan of garlic, however the creamy garlic sauce with the chips actually really really tasty. Here's a little bit of chilli sauce from the chips. Yeah that's got a little bit of kick to it as well, that sweet chilli sauce. You know what, my overall impression so far is just not very good. I mean. It just looks very sad, it just looks very dull. There's only literally like five tiny pieces of chicken in here, which is a little bit disappointing. There's a lot of chips, there's a lot of potato, you get a lot of chips. I mean, that's a plus. The creamy garlic sauce is very, very tasty. The slaw is just very basic. You don't get a lot of chilli sauce, and you don't get a lot of chicken. I'm trying to find a few positive things here, but it's a little bit difficult. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome. Welcome in. Uh, welcome to the uh, Mike Dust Review family. Yeah, I, I've just been to Edinburgh for a week. Um, actually, I, I stayed there one extra day, because uh, our flight back actually got cancelled last minute, so... 
we stayed an extra night, but that wasn't, you know, a bad thing. That was really good. So overall, I had a fantastic time. And honestly, I didn't actually realise how beautiful Scotland is. I mean, it's a fantastic place. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward now to, you know, quite straight on uh, YouTube. I definitely feel so much uh, better. Maybe not today as such, but my mind is clearer. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really focused on this now. You know what, I've seen these in Iceland today um, for about £3.325 and I was really excited but it is actually pretty disappointing these. I thought these were going to be absolutely amazing. Um, a few good points, the garlic sauce, brilliant. Um, and there's a, loads of chips but that's, yeah, there's not enough chicken in here for me. It, it doesn't taste like a kebab at all. It's uh, it's sort of, it just tastes like, yeah, it more tastes just like loaded fries and a chicken kebab, if anything. Chili sauce got a really nice kick to it. It's a shame there's not more of it. I mean, it's only literally like a tiny little splash. For three pounds, is this worth it? I mean, you do get a lot of food. There's a lot of chips here. So value for money, you're getting a very, very big portion. However, does it taste like what it says on the packaging? Chicken kebab fries? No, it, it's just fries which are have literally like four bits of chicken in. And it's not like a chicken kebab at all really. It's just not, nah, it's just like flavoured chips. But there should be more emphasis on the chicken kebab, not so much the fries, because fries are just fries. I don't actually go back to work now until Sunday, so you've got a whole week of videos of me every day. I've got some really cool stuff from Iceland to review in the next couple of days. But yeah, you got you you guys are smashing the support and the love. Thank you very much indeed. Um, yeah, I appreciate it big time. Just gonna have a sip of my coffee. I think um, I think I'm gonna give the rest of these chips a miss. It says here two out of three chili rating. It's not even hot at all. So basically, they're lying. Fuck off! Bit disappointed with this, guys. Um, really, really disappointed in the fact. Um, like I say, the garlic sauce tastes brilliant, and there's plenty of chips. Everything else is very basic, and it does not have a lot of chicken at all. I mean, so, I know I gave the hoisin fries, I gave them a 10 out of 10. They were absolutely superb. Like, you could not go wrong with those. However, these, I find them a little bit disappointing. And there's not a lot going for them really. There's not even a lot of chicken. You know, I yeah, I just don't think it's great. So it's gonna be a bit of a downer note on this one. Um I'm gonna give this one a rating of five out of ten. I think that's all it deserves. I was gonna go lower, but I think five out of ten is just being a little bit generous. Thanks a lot for watching guys. This has been the chicken kebab fries, fully loaded from Iceland. Give them a try, but you're gonna be disappointed. I'm really sorry. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for supporting. And yeah, have a fantastic evening. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.